Bitrix 24 CRM tutorial for beginners how to use Bitrix 24. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will show you a quick guide on how you can make use of this Bitrix CRM platform. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, you need to visit the website which is bitrix24.com and this is the main homepage. So over here, you can do a lot of stuff like from collaboration, CRM, task and project, sites and stores, HR and automation. But we will be focusing this guide about the CRM. So for CRM, you can do a lot of stuff here like for example for leads, deals, contact companies. You can also do quotes and invoices, online payments, sales automation, rules and triggers, contact center, marketing, and also the sales intelligence. So these are some of the features that you can do within their CRM. And to get started, they have this free plan that you can use and see if it works for you. So just click start for free. And this will redirect you to a different page where you can sign up. So to sign up, you can make use of your Facebook account, Google, your um, Apple account, Windows, Twitter. But I already signed up here using my Google account. So what I will do is that I will just quick log into my account and I will show you what inside the Bitrix. And no worries guys, because the sign up is too easy. You just need to make use of your Google account and that's it. All right, so I just log into my account and this will be the um, main dashboard if you will not be selecting any of the option because before going here when you first sign up there will be a question if you like to create crm collaborations etc but you can set that one up later on and if you choose to set this one up later then this will be your main dashboard so from the main dashboard you can see here the feeds here to go to your CRM, you just need to go here on the left hand side and we have this expand menu and over here we have our CRM. So if you set up to be on CRM, then this will be the main dashboard that you will be redirected to after you sign up. So inside the CRM tool, you can see here we have different stages here where you can set this one up and customize on your own. So what's this um, stages? So these stages is when you have a customer, you can move it to a different stages like promoting it. Like for example, over here, I just added a new customer. For example, I just named it test one. So these are like my leads or prospect. So once this prospect is good, and I assume that this prospect might purchase our product or services in the future, then I can just easily move this one to the next stage. Let's say that for this stage, it's like sending a follow-up email or schedule a meeting or call them, then I can also assign someone to do that one for me. So you can easily move each prospect or leads to different stages. Like for example, after you call this and they are working on payment, then you can just move on to the next stage, which is the invoice. And then once you created the invoice, you will send the invoice to your customer and you will move this one in progress. Like let's say we are waiting for this customer to pay us. And once you receive the payment, then that will be the final invoice where you will be sending the customer the confirmation of the payment and they can get their product or they can get their monthly membership confirmation or it's going to be an annual membership confirmation. It will depends on you, but that's how these different stages work. But of course, let me just um, move this one back to the first stage. So here you can also customize these different stages. So over here, as you can see, you can click on this. We have the pin icon and you can name the stages over here. So it's up to you how you will name it and what's the 
workflow of your CRM. But CRM, it stands for Customer Relationship Management. So it's how you manage your customer from the startup until they become a member, paying their monthly or annual subscription, and how you follow up on them on the next renewal date and also you can add more stages here so just click the add button and then just add the title of the stage so i just delete the new stage that i just added so going forward over here how you can add your uh, prospect information or your leads you can just simply uh, click this quick deal and then over here, you can just name the deal, test group. And then over here, I will just enter the amount for this deal. Let's just say it's going to be $150. And then you can select the currency, of course, over here. And then over here, you can just add the contact information. So here, like for example, the contact name, let's just say it's going to be test. So after you type in the contact name just hit the enter button from your keyboard and that will show you the phone services here to add the contact number so let's just say it's going to be usa and then just enter the number here the email of this contact person for this deal and also you can add address and also add more details over here but if this person let me just close this one if there is a more than one or two person in this group that you can contact for this deal, then you can just also click add participant for you to add more contact person. So the next one is company name. You can go ahead and enter the company name here. Let's just name this one again, test. And then after that, just click save. And here, as you can see, we just added a new deal inside our pipeline and again you can just move this one to a different part and of course you can also make a phone call you can send an email and also you can uh, chat with them so the good thing about this uh, crm tool is that you have different uh, view when it comes to your uh, deal. So here we have the pipeline. This is the pipeline uh, view of our uh, deal, but you can also change it to the list view. So let me just show you what the list view look like. So this will be the list view and here you can see the different stages over here. And also we have the activities. So it's quite similar to the pipeline, but over here you will see the activities of the different groups. So here without activities because we did not add any information if we call them or we sent an email since we don't have that, the system automatically added it under the without activities. And of course we have the calendar view and you can see all the deal here. So I hope that you learned something today and if you have any question, don't hesitate to comment down below and thank you for watching.